Now, a few hours ago, I posed on Twitter a question that I've been reflecting on these last couple of days. That amid all the COVID-19 doom and gloom, can there be a silver lining? Is there anything good that can really come out of these depressing times? I posted the question just about 7 p.m. this evening, and the responses this far have warmed my heart, and that is not a small thing these days. Ladies and gentlemen, you now know that we are living in such uncertain times that even a smile or a kind word calls for celebration. So in responding to my question, Art Kim Jobil said, and I quote, I am reading more, that I, more than I've ever done in a while, at least one book per week. All my expenditure has fallen off a cliff now that I have nowhere to go to also cut off so much noise on social media and I'm now intentional how I use social media. And Job Mokaya seems to agree, he says the situation is bringing in a new culture. Burials won't be expensive, same as weddings. But Imelda Njoroge has a different twist, she says, social distancing means men are not touching us inappropriately out there, especially in town. May it remain so to infinity, she says. And there's Ruth Koech who says the air is fresh, voices are stronger, smiles broader, no noise, food tastier. There's time to pay more attention to issues. Helen M says she has picked up jogging. She's feeling alive out in the open air and a little energized too from the exercising. You see, in the last few days, I've observed a few things that have made me wonder whether it has indeed to take a crisis for us to find ourselves and bring out the best. Just today, the government announced that local manufacture of masks had already kicked off and that massive quantities will be rolling out uh, of the factory lines in the coming days. Schools around the country are experimenting with all kinds of platforms to stay connected. Some are relying on the good old radio and TV to convey this or that lesson. The more urban ones are trying out Google Classroom, Microsoft Teams, Zoom, WhatsApp, you name it. Indeed, some learning institutions have now introduced exclusively online courses that never used to exist and which I'm sure will continue way after the COVID-19 cloud has passed. I cannot count the number of online meetings I've had these past couple of days and how much work I have done from my residents. I cannot believe the creativity I've witnessed right here in Kenya. Companies converting their production lines to make sanitizers and face masks. Entrepreneurs developing hand washing contraptions that would perhaps never have seen the light of day had it not been for this crisis. I have not talked about the excited family chatter that now graces most homes or the numerous phone calls friends are making to each other just to find out if they are fine. Oh yes, I have not talked about the tax cuts that many Kenyans have hoped for for many years. They may not be nearly enough, but who would have thought that there would be tax cuts? I mean, any tax cuts in Kenya were, were it not for all of these things? Let me ask. Where were all these bright spots of our society before COVID-19 struck? Ladies and gentlemen, there are many more reflections I got on my timeline on Twitter and more are still streaming in. But I've chosen the few I read out to illustrate the fact that in these dark clouds of COVID-19, there can indeed be a silver lining, a new habit to be picked up or an old one to be discarded, a family member to reach out to, a task to be finished, an expenditure to be avoided, a project to be completed, a book to read or to write, a faith to be committed to. This is a time to bring out the best in us, to ignite our creativity, to reconnect with our real selves and those we love, to connect with humanity, a time to be human again. This is why I must finish tonight by a tweet from Nicholas Rabach who says, Slowly, humanity is being reawakened from the pervasive stupor that individual wealth defines success. Coronavirus is brutally whipping all of us back to the reality table, reminding us that we are all connected. We are better off investing in shared good, end quote. And I say amen to that. And that is my angle for the week. <laughs>